he koi ko te wira papa te whachitiri whakae ke heke ana mai te kohanga ki runga o paremata. Ko a rā ke a hau i te papa o te whenua, ko a kite a hau i ngā whetu e tūtaki tahi ana, ko matari ki te kairuri, ko a titahi kai te taumata o te mangoroa. Ko te atu ato o kupiringa, kā puta, kā ora. He tongi kura nā kingi tāwhiao. Kai taku kingi, kingi tū heitia, pōtatau te whero-whero o te tuawhitu, me te whare kāhui ari ki whānui, te puhi ari ki o te motu, Ngā wai hono i te pō, ko a rangatira tō tātou nei pō i a koe. Rire, rire hau, pae māri. Ngā mate o te tau, o te marama, o te wiki, o te rā nei. Ngā rārangi kingi o te pō, hoki atu rā kau tau ki te pare kawa kawa o pare ārau. Ki te mana whenua o te atiawa, nei rā katu ohu. He raukura no rongo wairere ao ki Taranaki. Over 1.2 million acres confiscated. He uri no whakao tirangi o Waikato. Over 1.2 million acres confiscated. He whakaa hekenga no ahua iti o Ngāpuhi. Over 200,000 land confiscated. He mangaenga no hamo i tirangi o Ngaitahu. 34.5 million acres confiscated. Ka ora tonu tō rātou uri whakaheke. Ko mutu whenua te marama i te rangi nei, ko hine i te weka te whetu. Well, I was almost just going to say we are here, let's get to mahi. But those flights down for our whānau were pretty expensive and some of my cousins even missed Alan Stone concert tonight for this. No, this is better. <laughs> Ironically, they say the stars align, but I think tonight is a little bit more than the stars aligning. The meteors will shower. The comet, 46p in a full circle moment, will shower tonight across Aotearoa. Last time this meteor showered was in 1972, when Te Pitihana was brought to Paremata from our grandparents. Their mokopuna delivers their maiden speech 51 years later. I truly feel like I've already said my maiden speech outside the steps of Parliament last year for the 50th anniversary of Te Pitihana, where my last statements of my speech, I quote, I will leave the decision with you whether or not you jump on our waka or not because with or without you, we will sail in both worlds. We've come so far, but we've got a long way to go. Let's see what we can do in the next 50 years. And my last question at the time was to Minister Grant Robertson. Aotearoa, te whare paremata, are you ready? A whole year later, we can say we have made it inside the house and we have arrived. We are here, we are sailing, we are navigating, just like our ancestors once did. In the biggest ocean in the world, Te Moana Nui Akiwa. Even though some others aren't even jumping on the waka kotahi. <laughs> Ki te marei kura te wahine iho pū manawa. E nanaia mahuta, e kore e ea te kupu, e kore ngā whakamanawa e oti ki a koe. Nā haurā i para tēnei huarahi, nā haurā tēnei whare paremata i hamahama, nā haurā i ringa raupā ki tō taua nei iwi. Nei rā tō mokopuna e tuahu ana ki a koe. I was given some advice before making it into Parliament, to not take anything personally or it will eat you up. Well, Mr. Speaker, I can't help but take everything personally that has been said in this chamber. In only a couple of weeks, in only 14 days, this government has attacked my whole world from every corner. Health, taiao, wai, 
whenua, natural resources, Māori wards, reo, tamariki, and the rights of me and you to be in this country under te tiriti. How can I not take anything personally when it feels like these policies were made about me? E kore rawa au e tuku i te mana ki a koutou ki te pehi nei tōku nei ao. Kare au mōhio ki tītihi ao anō. I am not fearful of this place or this debating tra- chamber. Trust me, I've been to marae AGMs all my life. <laughs> I will not say which marae either. <laughs> I dedicated my last speech outside of Parliament to my grandparents. I quote, This is for my nana Eileen that became in debt with a student loan to learn her reo she once lost. This is for my nanny Ramari that was ashamed as a little girl of her name. This is for my papa Albie that worked in a blue collar all his life to fit in society. This is for my pop that still finds it hard to have confidence to sit on the pie. This is for my nana Gail in her 70s that spends most nights studying her language and now messages me on Facebook and te reo every chance she gets. This is for my koro taitamu that wanted me to come here with a hammer and red paint. <laughs> However, this speech today, my maiden speech, is dedicated to all our children that join me from up above. Our farikura, our kura, to my younger siblings, my goddaughter, my nieces and nephews from up above. No matter what comes out of this government, I will make sure our kids hear us. Never fit in, you are perfect. You are the perfect fit. To our tamariki, your reo is whispering for you. To the tamariki Māori who have been sitting in the back of the, their classroom their whole life, whakamā, waiting generations longing to learn their native tongue. To the tamariki who haven't been to their pepeha yet, it is waiting for you with open arms. To our mokopuna, they can attack me, but I will not let them attack you. Our first words we spoke in this house was an oath to you. To Hauraki Waikato, I am at your service in and outside of Parliament. I will die for you in these chambers, but I will live for you outside these four walls. I will be a constant sponge soaking up and listening to our kōrero tukuiho and the needs for our people straight from the soil. Your job for me is to keep me in line and in check. The first thing Te Pāti Māori taught me is to believe in myself and to always keep grounded. We do not own these seats. We are kaitiaki for our people. We are not the ones, but we are the kai kariri from the home base to the beehive. We are the protectors in here and the providers in our home. Ki ngā hoa piri o tēnei taiwa o Te Pāti Māori, rāwari te kairingi e tū hakahaka nei, Faya Debi to Wairua no Tupuna a te fiti rawa ko te tohu. Faya Mariamino te wahine a ko reitu rei pai e haonei tēnei waka no te hiku. Takutai ka rongo i tō reo no rātana pā e tiori mai nei ki au. Takuta to whakapaukaha ki tēnei tira. Meka to Wairua atawhai ko ana te ngākau te kiti a koe. I am absolutely privileged to be by your side. At 21 years old, I can definitely say this was not the plan. I was perfectly fine growing my kumara and learning maramataka, but this house kept tampering with things they shouldn't be touching. And that's why I left the mara to come here. <laughs> to my whanau who have traveled near and far, from across the motu and everyone watching at home, I see you, I hear you, and I feel you, but I cannot thank you enough. I know they won't like me saying this, but I want to thank all my grandparents, my parents. This is my mum's worst living nightmare, <laughs> me being in here. And my dad watching on the TV going, go, go girl, get him. My teachers, our kura, our club, my cousins, my in-laws, my bestest friends, and my siblings for keeping me sane and grounded and telling me when I need a wardrobe check. 
my partner for your unwavering support and constant love, to every person that has gathered up today, up top today, i rangona to mātou haka, i rongo, i rangona, i whatitiri tēnei whare i tō tātou nei reo. To every person that is watching from home, to every person in this room up above, this isn't my moment, this is yours. Every time you hear my voice, it will echo of my ancestors. Every time you look me in the eyes, you will see the children that survived. Over the next three years, you will see history rewrite itself without a pen. See you at Turanga Waiwai on the 10th 20th. Nō reira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā rā tātou. Katoa. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to Mirror Now.